In this video, you're going to learn how to maximize your profits using TradingView, three commas, and our custom advanced DCA tool. You'll be able to backtest and live trade using your own strategies. We're going to completely cover how to set up multi-pair bots, meaning by the end of the video, you'll know how to trade multiple cryptocurrencies at the same time. The whole process takes around 10 minutes from start to finish, and you can even set it up using your mobile phone, after which you can do whatever you want. There's no need to sit at a computer all day, it just trades for you, using your own settings where you would have been able to backtest over a year's worth of data. It's really easy, and whether you're a new or experienced trader, you're going to find valuable information in this video. So get ready to take your trading game to the next level, and stay tuned if you like the look of these results. And for those of you just starting out, I recommend familiarizing yourself with the basics from reputable sources like the Trade Alts YouTube channel. Pause the video to read through the disclaimer and we'll get started. If you've already watched our single pass video, you can go ahead and skip the next few minutes where I'm just going to do a basic setup on TradingView. Otherwise, stay tuned. For the people who haven't watched the single pass video, to get you started, you're going to need three different things. A TradingView account, a three commas account, and a crypto exchange of your choice. I personally really like Binance. It's one of the biggest exchanges globally, and arguably the most secure. But this is completely compatible with 17 different exchanges. Check the links in the description, and you can get 30 days of TradingView Pro for free. And if you don't already have a Binance account, you can get $100 just for signing up. So if you're new to trading, make sure you check out those links. And now that we've got all three of these accounts set up, first you're gonna open TradingView, go up to Indicators, Invite Only Scripts, search for Emu Moon. You'll find the Advanced DCA tool. Click to add it to your chart. If you don't see it, you can follow the link in the description to become a member. A dialog box will pop up. It will say, welcome to the advanced DCA tool. We've also got some helpful information. We're going to click on apply. And now we're going to go up to the top and double click on the indicator. So what we have here is a really powerful tool that can be used to your advantage. It's a comprehensive tool designed from the ground up for use with the platform three commas or as a standalone dollar cost average back tester. Most importantly, it can also live trade your settings using the really easy to use TradingView alerts. You're able to choose between different signal based entry strategies. We've also got the ability to place dynamic safety orders that are tailored and bespoke to the crypto that you're trading. We've got the option to choose between single pair and multi pair. We're able to place break-even orders for cryptocurrencies that do become a little bit difficult to exit. We can go long or short, and we can actually set up the script so that it changes trading direction midway through a deal. And as a final countermeasure for volatile cryptocurrencies, maybe if the situations go really south, we have the ability to place stop losses beneath previous levels of support and resistance. If you're a free commas free user, it brings about the ability to manage multiple DCA bots. It can save you lots of time and money by being able to quickly test the effectiveness of your trading strategies. You can see that all of the settings have been divided up into categories. This makes it easier for you to navigate. And besides each category is an information section that details what each setting is and what the setting does you'll find that the default settings within the script are actually a really good starting point for you to build and develop your own trading strategy and to your own risk tolerance. Now, if we look at the top portion of the chart here, it does look a little bit messy. If you go up here and click the three dots, go down to settings, status line, and then I uncheck arguments and values. It just makes the chart look a little bit tidier. I also like to run trading view in dark mode. It's just my preference. Plus it does kind of help with eye strain if you're looking at the screen for a long time. 
Okay, so next we'll set up a multi-pair bot in three commas. These bots are great for trading multiple coins with the same quotes currency. For example, if you want to trade BTC, ETH, and XRP all against USDT, it's much easier and more beneficial than setting up individual bots for each pair. Click Create New DCA Bot. Give it a useful name like Emu Multibot. The bot type is going to be multi pair. In the pairs section, we're going to press clear, then show all pairs. We've got a nice range of different pairs that you can choose from. In this example, we're going to go with USDT all. This is all of the USDT pairs available on our selected exchange. Max active deals, I quite like to just use 10 as a placeholder. We can always change this in the future. Base order size of $12. In this example, we're going long, and we're going to be taking our profit in USDT. Market orders are quicker, limit orders are more precise. Read the information. In this example, I quite like to use market orders, but it's up to you. Now, our next most important part is the deal start condition. We're going to select trading view custom signal, not trading view. It must be trading view custom signal. Next, we want to set up our take profit. Now, this is really important. We want to set up our take profit in three commas to be slightly lower than the take profit in trading view. The reason for this is we've got some delay with trading view. We've also got fees. We've also got slippage. So it is overall more efficient for us to utilize three commas executing our exit commands or take profit commands than it is trading view. So in this example, we're going to set three commas to 2% and trading view to 2.1%. You can learn more about this on the general info. Now, next thing on the list is we're gonna go down to safety orders and we're gonna pull all the values down to zero or as close to zero as possible. This one doesn't like to go any lower than 0.3. So we're just gonna set that at 0.3. Now, it's important to note that even though we've set all our safety order values down to zero and three commas, it is the script that will be managing all of our base orders, our safety orders, and if you've got them selected, TradingView would also be executing our stop loss orders and our break even orders. There's not actually a right lot that Free Commerce is doing in this situation. It's just purely acting as a middleman between TradingView and our exchange. And the last thing is simultaneous deals. I like to set this as 10 as a placeholder, but you can set this to whatever you like. Okay, press start and the bot has been turned on. We're gonna hit OK. We're gonna scroll down. We've got message for deal start signal. Click to copy. We're not gonna click show and drag and drop it as this can sometimes cause issues. Because we've set things up using USDT all, we wanna make sure that the pairs we select in trading view also use USDT and not BUSD or USDC for example. You also want to be sure that the chart is being provided by the exchange you're using. In this example, we're using Binance. Next, go to deal start message. We're going to clear all the characters in this field and we're going to paste in our message. In this particular example, we're going to run the one minute time frame. I encourage anyone who's new or setting this up for the very first time to run the one minute time frame with the entry strategy set to ASAP. It just makes things overall a little bit more responsive so you can see what's going on and how the script works. Select multi pair. We're going to scroll down and we're going to adjust the date and time. So we're going to set this to today's date and time plus five minutes. That's just going to give us a little bit of extra time to set up the last part of the settings. We also want to go down to the bottom right hand corner of trading view and from this list, wherever you are in the world, make sure you have UTC selected, not negative five or negative seven, for example. Now, a really good tip to see if your settings are all correct and there's no fundamental issues with the initial setup is you can roll the time back by one hour. If you've got the ASAP start condition selected, you'll be able to see if that base order would have came through. And then you can push it back to the current time, plus five minutes, ready to start the next part of the setup. And we're gonna select this little alarm clock that says alerts. And we're gonna to go to create alert. And we've got a new dialog box. Condition, we're gonna set this to advanced DCA tool. And you'll see that we've got a message here that says, Caution, alerts may trigger differently from what you expect. Now, 
a lot has gone into the script to ensure that the alerts that go out are perfectly in sequence with the back tester. So it's not something that you should have to worry about. So we're just going to ignore this one. Order fills and alert function calls. Expiration time. If you've got the option, set it to open ended. Otherwise, just set the date as far into the future as possible. We can always change this in the future really easily. You don't need to worry about having advanced trading view membership. You can do this all on the lowest paid membership. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to set it to open ended. And the next important thing is message. So we're going to clear all of the characters that are in this field and we're going to go to open curly brackets, message, and then to close curly brackets with a capital M for message. Now, this is really important. We can't have any other characters in this field. It must just be this. You can call it anything you like. We're going to give it a useful name, BTC Multi. Next thing we're going to want to do is go to notifications. Now, I quite like to be notified in app and as a pop-up. Not too fond about emails. The most important thing is webhook URL. You can either pause the video and copy down this URL address, or you will find it within the tutorial built into the script. I'll also put it in the link in the description. Click create. And now over here, we've got a new alert. Once this alert has been created, settings, the parameters, the chart, all of it is stored and saved externally on TradingView servers. There is no need to leave your browser open. You can change the settings, you can change the time frame, change the chart, it doesn't matter. It's all going to be saved on TradingView servers. So no further modifications are going to affect the alert that we've just created. Now, if modification of these settings is required later on, the old alert will need to be deleted and a new alert created. Now, the very first signal may take some time to get triggered. It all depends on the time interval selected. So that's why I do recommend that people who are setting this up for the very first time select the one minute time frame just to familiarize yourself with the strategy and how it works. Now that we've got our first pair created, I'm going to quickly run through some of our previous steps and set up two more pairs for Ethereum and Matic. There's no need to change the deal start message. It will be the same for all three. The alert settings will also be the same. The only difference is I'm going to offset each start time by one minute so we can see each alert come through. One great thing about the advanced DCA tool is you can individually adjust and tailor each setting specific to the pair being traded. This is not something that's available on the three commerce platform when using standard multi-pair bots. So now we've got three unique alerts set up on TradingView, all using their own specific settings with one bot on three commas. We're going to wait for our first alert to come through. So any second now we're going to get an alert. And there it is, BTC Multi. So it sends an alert for a base order. In the bottom right hand corner, we have an alerts log. You can see that it's been triggered. You can also see the time that it was triggered. So the alerts log is really useful if you're going into diagnostic, perhaps an exchange has been down and we've missed a signal or there's been a problem with free commas or trading view. You can check in the alerts log to see the times that we've had our alerts. You can also export these as .csv files by clicking the three dots, which is useful for the people who like to use spreadsheets. And we've also got an equivalent events log over in three commas that can also help with diagnostics. Here's our second alert for Ethereum. So now we've got a base order for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Back in three commas, refresh your page, you can see that alerts have been received and base orders for both Bitcoin and Ethereum have been placed. We've got active deals in progress. We can see the start times and the volumes being traded. If you click on the pair name, it can bring up a chart in three commas. From here, you can see entry positions for each base and safety order. You can also check the volumes and you can also change the chart style. Now we've got one more alert to come through, which is Matic. And there's our alert. So this is our last base order. If I refresh the page now, we can see that Free Commerce has received the signal and placed a base order. With this setup, it's really great for Free Commerce free users. 
it gives them a lot of flexibility to manage multiple independent pairs. And as far as free commerce is aware, we're only using one active bot, which is great because we can only have one active bot as a free user. From here, we can keep on adding new pairs to the same multi-pair bot as we desire, all using their own unique settings. And if your trading needs expand greater than the need to trade all of these pairs simultaneously, or perhaps you'd like even more control over your trading, FreeCommerce does offer plans for the more ambitious trader. But for the majority of users, this setup that I've shown you in this video will be more than adequate for your trading needs. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you found value in what you've learned today, be sure to hit subscribe. And if there's any features or questions you have, leave a comment below. Your feedback's really important and it helps to improve on the content and features found within the script in the future. If you're just getting started out in trading, then you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need a trading view account, a three commas account, and a crypto exchange. I like to use Binance, but the advanced DCA tool is compatible with 17 different exchanges all through three commas. So you can pick whichever is your favorite. But if you don't have all of those set up yet, you can always follow the referral links in the description below to get free trials. And for those of you who are signing up to Binance for the first time, you can get $100 when you first sign up. So don't forget to follow those links. So all in, what we have here is a really powerful tool that not only assists, but fully manages your entry signals, your dollar cost averaging, your exit signals. We've also got features that allow you to customize and come up with your own profitable strategies. You're able to choose between different signal-based entry strategies. We've got the option to choose between single pair and multi-pair. We can go long or short, and we can actually set up the script so that it changes trading direction midway through a deal. We've got the added functionality that allows free commerce free users the flexibility to manage multiple bots simultaneously. We've also got the ability to place dynamic safety orders that are tailored and bespoke to the crypto that you're trading. We're able to place break-even orders for cryptocurrencies that do become a little bit difficult to exit. And as a final countermeasure for volatile cryptocurrencies, maybe if the situations go really south, we have the ability to place stop losses beneath previous levels of support and resistance. So if you think the advanced DCA tool is gonna to be a valuable asset to your trading, or you want to take your trading to the next level, I encourage you to join our membership. It's a small but growing community of like-minded traders. And for those of you who aren't too sure which membership level is suitable for you, or you're undecided, there's also a trial available on the Buy Me A Coffee page. Just want to say a quick thank you to all the supporters, the back testers, the beta testers, and all of the positive feedback and support received along the way. And that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers, bye.